welcome to the purple chair today. Figured I'd switch it up. Why not? I'm your host, Eric Daddario. And today, I want to touch on a subject that so many of us in our lives either have, are, or will struggle with. And after we talk about this, you're going to be able to get over that hurdle to start dealing with healing with the challenges, the struggles, whatever adversity you may be going through. And that is, I want to talk to you today about vulnerability. It's a scary word, right? And what is vulnerability? Well, vulnerability is having the courage, the strength to, as I like to say, let that guard down and to talk about the emotions, the feelings that you're having, what you're going through, that what the pain, the emotion, so that you can get the help that you need from what you're going through. And th- there's so many reasons why we don't have these conversations, why we don't want to let that guard down. We don't want to talk about what we're going through. We just want to bottle it up. We want to keep it inside. And we're going to try to get through it on our own because we're strong enough, right? We'll go back to that word strength in a second. The, The first reason is, is that we're afraid of judgment, right? You're afraid that if I become vulnerable, I let the guard down. I talk about what I'm going through then what are other people going to think about me? What are they going to say? How are they going to react? Am I going to lose friends? And so because of these fears, because of this nervousness of you being attacked, you could say, in a way, then you shy away from it. But realize, just just, just realize that there are things in your life that, are going to be hard, are going to be difficult. You're not going to want to do them. They're going to put fear in you. And this is one of those things. Becoming vulnerable. Having that strength to talk about your emotions, your feelings, what you're going through. Another another reason why people don't become vulnerable and talk about what they're going through, let the guard down is, and this is a big myth, is it makes me weak. It makes me look like I'm weak, like I'm not strong because I'm talking about my emotions, my feelings, my pain, what I'm going through. I should just bottle it up and get through it, right? It makes me look like I'm not strong, but that's not the case. That's how it was and thought about by everybody Years and years, a long time ago, but that's not the case. See, when you become vulnerable, when you have these conversations, when you're able to let that guard down and talk about your emotions, that is a, that's a true strength. Okay. It's not a sign of weakness. Realize that it's a true strength. Doing this helps you to get through so many things. And so Just realize how important in your life being vulnerable is. I'm going to, right now, I am going to actually have a moment with you of being vulnerable. I can't talk about it right now and not be vulnerable. So when I was younger, I was in the eighth grade and the woods and my friends were just playing around, throwing sticks around, being normal middle school kids. All of a sudden, the kid throws a stick. It hits me right in the eye. And it's just, it sticks in my eye. So I yank it out. As soon as I yank that stick out, blood starts pouring down my face, down my body. It's just blood everywhere. I pass out. I wake up in the hospital. And that night, they performed six-hour surgery on my eye to save it. And I'll never forget. I'll never forget going in the mirror I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm, I'm about to have a moment of vulnerability. Okay. Because this is, this is how I look without this in. Okay. 
I wear this sometimes. And when I don't, this is what it looks like. Now, being in the eighth grade, I was just so nervous, so concerned, so afraid of how other people would think about me, what they would say, how they would react. And so I didn't want to talk about how I was feeling. I didn't want to talk about my emotions, my struggle, my pain. I didn't want that vulnerability. So I tried to cover this up as much as I could. I didn't leave my house for weeks. And it wasn't until I actually let that guard down and I talked about my feelings, my emotions, what I was going through during this whole struggle, did I actually start to feel better about myself? Did I start to quote unquote, accept myself? That's, that's what this truly is, okay? Is when we become vulnerable, we are accepting what we're going through. And just realize that if everyone was to be vulnerable, now I'm not just saying we just spew out to everybody everything that's happening. Every, you know, there's no filter. But but what I'm saying is is is, is if, if everybody was to be vulnerable, I can guarantee you, guarantee you that everybody you know in your life would eventually have something to say to you to let them know how you're feeling and their feeling, what they're going through, their emotions. Because realize that everybody, everybody in their life has multiple times of vulnerability, of going through hard times, of feeling pain. And when you do that, it just, it, it helps you to get over what you're going through. You, if you've ever experienced it, if you've ever experienced vulnerability, it just, at first, it's like you get this weight on your shoulders and you're just carrying it around. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. You don't know how you're going to react. You're so nervous. Your heart's racing. And it's just got this, all these emotions, these feelings running up in here and your heart's just beating so hard. And then once you finally just get that courage, that strength to become vulnerable, it's just this calming feeling. It's just all this up here. It's just so tense. So, and then it's just this calming feeling. And you just feel so much better. It, it just, it, it helps you to start the process of going through whatever struggle, whatever pain that you're feeling, that you're being faced with in that moment. And, and, and accepting, accepting that you're going through this. That's a little bit about what vulnerability is about too, is, is accepting the struggle, accepting that adversity you're being faced with. And that you need to actually do something about it to start the process of dealing with it. So just realize that vulnerability is a strength. No matter what anybody says to you, tries to tell you, it is a strength. It is not a weakness. Because I think about this for a sec. When you have those emotions, those feelings, those thoughts, maybe something you want to say, and you're not actually going forward with it, you're, you're depriving yourself of being happy. You're depriving yourself essentially on what you want to do to get, to get through what you're going through. Don't hold yourself back from that happiness. Become vulnerable. Talk about those emotions, those feelings that you're going through with somebody. It's a strength. It's not a weakness. And when you're vulnerable, then your life just becomes that much better. That much better. It only gets better when you're vulnerable. I can promise you that. Guys, it was... It was great to, to talk to you today about the importance of vulnerability, of sharing a little vulnerable moment of myself with you and something that I went through in my life that I struggled with. But then when I became vulnerable about it, it actually helped me to get through it. And so just remember, vulnerability is a strength. It's not a weakness. Have that strength, that courage to let that guard down and talk about what you're going through, you're feeling. 
so you can start the healing process from what you're going through, from what you want to say.